Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Now this is a, a video about care. It's about care that is placed on people who are vulnerable. And it is right in a decent society that those who are vulnerable are cared for. They are looked after. They are not left just to try and fend for themselves. Otherwise, it would be a very cold, dispassionate world in which we live in. Not one which I would care to live in, I think. And I think for most people, we know that whilst families can rally, sort of rally round and do their best, sometimes the care that's required needs to be professional care even if it's only sort of respite care from time to time. It's very, very important. Indeed, it is humanitarian. To do anything other than deny it would be truly sociopathic, I think, in nature. And yet, we are in a position now where Scottish care homes are failing. 20% have closed. 20% of all care homes, gone. Care facilities are basically becoming a joke. It is one of the most humane things you can do, and yet it is something that the SNP chooses not to do. People to them are unimportant. Vulnerable people even more so, whether they're ill, whether they're uh, mentally deficient, physically disabled, old, whatever it may be, whatever the care required is, they are failing terribly miserably in every area of care it's almost as though they just don't care let's have a look at this see why it's so bad and why you really have to question the humanity of the SNP here goes so social care in Scotland is now at breaking point as hundreds of care homes close under the SNP. Now, of course, this has to be deliberate policy. These things don't just accidentally happen. Someone must make decisions that must lead inevitably to the closure of these care homes. Money is being diverted from where it is most needed, people, and given to where it is least needed, independence. This is not only morally repugnant, but I would suggest even possibly a crime against humanity. You are deliberately inflict inflicting pain and suffering on many hundreds, if not thousands of people just to push a failing political ideology. It is something that if it happened in another country, we would point to them and say that they're a failed country. The fact that this is happening in a Western democracy, supposedly, is just embarrassing and disgusting, degenerate to the point. Scottish Labour Deputy Leader Jackie Bailey is calling on the SNP Greens government to act now to prevent disaster as the number of adult care homes falls by a fifth. A massive drop. Massive. They, they spend too much politicising one area and they give up on the one thing that is truly important. People. I think it's disgusting. The alarm has been sounded over the perilous state of care homes in Scotland as a new report shows the number of care homes plummeting by a fifth and this is across all sectors as I mentioned this is not just sort of adult uh, elderly care which is important of course uh, but it's mental uh, mental health care it's physical care it, it's respite care it's hospice care it's all sorts of care wherever care is needed it is ultimately failing under the SNP's watch um over the last 10 years, the number of care homes fell from 1,282 to 1,037, a reduction of 19%. In the same period, 2,253 care home places were lost as the number of registered places fell by 5%. Social care services across the board are under pressure and the SNP's flagship social care policy of setting up a national care service has been plagued by problems, with ministers being forced to U-turn on plans to seize power from councils. What I agree with in principle is to adopt social care into the NHS and have kind of an integrated care system where when you come into, pro into hospital and then you can maybe go out to care and it's all fully integrated and done and it's done as a central cause and I get it, I understand it totally. Two problems. 
one, the councils don't want to give up their independence on this matter uh, because then care would be facilitated at a higher level. And so care would have to be integrated at that point and it would be outside of the remit of the councils. They'd have no input on it. But that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing, but it is removing power from a local level to a national level. But there's also the fact that they're not prepared to pay for it because care is actually very expensive. Um, and it, but I'd rather spend my tax dollar, as it were, tax pound, uh, on um, care than on, say, glossy brochures or uh, foreign aid. You know, it, you've got to look at where the care has got to be targeted. So let's care for the people of this country, the people who are actually paying into the system and who expect to be looked after out of the money they're paying. That is where it needs to go. Uh, anyway, care providers have previously warned that the situation, it, well, they say could get worse, will, will undoubtedly get worse due, uh, still, sorry, due to rising bills and staffing pressures. Scottish Care Chief Executive Donald McCaskill has estimated that between 30 and 40 percent of the country's residential adult care facilities may soon close permanently if problems like workforce issues, energy costs and more are not solved soon. Now, of course, people in care tend to generally need more heat, especially the elderly. They need sometimes more uh, electronic aids, um, assistance. Sometimes there's monitoring equipment. That costs money because electricity is so high. Heating bills are high. Staff care is high. Staff costs are high. The trouble is, of course, most people in the care facility tend to be on minimum wage. You've got to think, if you've got someone whom you deeply love and are, uh, you're paying a lot of money into a care home for, do you really want the people looking after them to be on minimum wage? I think that uh, the wage bill must be in line with um, NHS wages. Care is care. Uh, and and, and professionalise care. Professionalise the care service and then charge and pay people who do the actual caring themselves at a professionalised wage rate. Uh, maybe not as high as some sort of, you know, someone who's done like a, a five year nursing degree or some such, but certainly a step up from minimum wage. And they, prof and they are professionalised and they know what they're doing. Uh, and I think that would be a, a step in the right direction. It would certainly mean that people would be encouraged into the care profession so you'd reduce staffing pressures and yes the cost would increase but hey isn't it better that we pay money for staff care than we pay for glossy brochures and foreign embassies i know where i'd rather have the money go uh, in a response to the new figures scottish labour health and social care spokeswoman uh, dame jackie bailey called on the Scottish Government to act now to prevent disaster. I think it's already too late. I mean, it is disastrous as it speaks. Uh, she said the social care in Scotland is at breaking point, but the SNP has no real plan to fix it. This collapse in care homes will deprive people of the local care they desperately need and pile pressure on the rest of social care system in the NHS. What tends to happen, of course, is people in care homes fail. They end up having to go into hospital, which costs three times as much. It's, it's so expensive. A bed a night in a, in a hospital is somewhere in the region of about £800 a night. It, it's horrendous. That's the average. It averages out. Oh, obviously not every bed is going to be that. But the average is about £800 a night. It is less per patient, you know. It is horrendously expensive. Um, and yet that is seen, that, that's the dumping ground for people where they, the care facilities outside of the hospital fail. Uh, and that... It's just beyond a joke, isn't it? Anyway, the sector has been surrounding the alarm, oh, sounding the alarm, sorry, for years, warning that homes will continue to close if the Scottish Government fails to act. We need a national care service that is truly fit for purpose and is equipped for the challenges of an ageing population. The SNP must act now to prevent disaster and support for care homes and workers. And the Care Home Census, published by Public Health Scotland, states that on the 31st of March 2023, there were 1,037 care homes for adults and 40,500 registered places. That's 19 and 5% less, respectively, compared with March 31st, 2013. 10 years, you've lost 20% of your, or fifth, you know, of your um, care homes. That is a terrible indictment of where the SNP consider uh, the money that they wank away on independence would rather go on that rather than where it's actually needed, which is people. 
Uh, and there's the table. I won't go through it all, but I will just point out that um, you're losing 27% of mental health uh, care, 37% uh, of learning difficulty care, 13% of older people, physical and sensory impairment, 25% drop, and other groups, 39% drop. I'll leave this up on the screen for a second. You can do that. I'll do that bit, and then I'll put it up to you in a second if you want to just pause it and have a look yourselves. Uh, but there you are. It's, it's just... It's truly awful. It's inhumane. It's disgusting. It's degenerate. And it's, worst of all, deliberate. I'll come up. Now, of course, this entire decline happened more or less entirely within the rule of Nicola Sturgeon. She became uh, leader in, what, 2014? Uh, so this is going from 2013 to 2023. She's leader from 2014 to 2023. So it's almost entirely under her stewardship. Uh, her mal stewardship, perhaps one should say. So ultimately, she, the uh, the psychopath, the sociopath, has failed to care for people. Nobody would have expected that, would they? Because after all, she does not care about anything other than herself. She's a narcissistic, nasty, brutish, and short, uh, and is disgusting. And that is what her legacy will be: the suffering of people. Anyway, I shall stop there. Thank you very much for watching. Um, it is horrific, really, when you think of the deliberate policies taken to inflict pain and suffering on people. But hey, that's the SNP way, isn't it? Till next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. Goodbye.